In neighboring Nova Scotia, a wildfire near Halifax is continuing to burn. Officials say it hasn't grown, but they are worried about changing weather. The CBC's Brett Ruskin tells us how it could make firefighting efforts harder and more dangerous. Conditions yesterday here in the Tantallon area were favorable. Officials were able to keep the fire contained. Not necessarily the case today. Going to be a difficult day. Going to be a dangerous day, according to officials who held a news conference earlier today. That's because the wind is blowing this way. I can feel it in my face blowing the same direction that the wind was back on Sunday. That is when the fire progressed very quickly through the communities, through the woods there, where we saw at least 200 homes and structures significantly damaged or destroyed. Here is David Steves. He's with the Department of Natural Resources is talking about the possibility and the risks when fire material things on the ground or even homes and structures are reburned take a listen those fuels that are left from the original uh, time when the fire passed through are now 100% cured and they are ready to burn the potential for reburn is very real and it's very dangerous uh, people can become entrapped firefighters can become entrapped and so again wind picking up no rain in the forecast until at least Friday, even a bit of a drizzle on Friday expected, not the downpour that we need and temperatures increasing as well back up to the same kind of conditions that we saw here on Sunday again when that uh, those fires initially were lit and spread so quickly through these communities. Now, uh, if we move south from here down the shore, about a two and a half hour drive down the way there, uh, Barrington, Shelburne, that fire still out of control as well. About eight times the size of the fire in this area here and spreading as well with with mandatory evacuations in that region too. Now there has been lots of talk about people able to either uh, grabbing what they need in the last few moments before evacuating but some people were away from their homes. I was away from my home when the alert came on my phone saying that there was a fire and that people in a specific area needed to evacuate and so folks who weren't at home who weren't able to get home often weren't able to get paperwork, medication, their pets. And so there has been lots of work to try to get um, pets rescued. So that is something that has been happening. We, we've seen kind of uh, pets reunited with their owners uh, and with their families, whether it be dogs, cats, even horses. There is a kind of an exhibition grounds that's now home to about 50 horses that were initially released to keep them safe from burning barns, then recaptured and brought to that exhibition ground. There's even a, a pig that was rescued as well. So lots on the minds of the homeowners, more than 16,000 of them evacuated from their homes. No word yet on when they might be able to go back to their communities.